Hi, Floss Tube. This is Colleen. You are stitching with the Sisterly today. The Sisterly IES part is in Hawaii, um, which, if you watched our last Floss Tube, um, you know she went to Hawaii to with her friends, her and her husband. And so I'm here holding the fort down with Lincoln and Daisy and Cheryl's cat Pookie. And uh, she asked if I would water her garden and her plants on the porch and her trees and bushes. Um, she knows I have trouble seeing sometimes so she put some bright red fluorescent, uh, bright orange fluorescent um, flags out there and I've in inserted a video here so you could see that whole little deal. So yes this is the bright orange flags that sister has uh, put in for me so I won't miss them when uh, oh, out of breath I walked out of the cottage so I won't miss them uh, when watering and of course since we live in the Pacific Northwest there's rain so there goes having to water that's my little get to this quilt studio um, buggy and let's go see all the other stuff I have to water. Though she didn't take those. She figured I could see the flowers, I think. And we'll go up on the porch. She has a covered porch. Sorry for the wobble. And that's my little cottage. And let's see. Here is the herbs that I have to water. Rain doesn't get those. Uh, those are my brother-in-law's boots. He's a tree man, so he has a lot of boots. And then we'll walk around. Here's some more watering I do. Water, water, water. Cutie chair. Water, water, water. Water, water. Let's not drip over anything I have to water. The cutesy stuff. Her grandchildren made her this little tic tac toe set. Water. Water. Fake. Last year I accidentally watered the fake plants too because I wasn't sure. And here is more watering. Here's where we sit and stitch sometimes. More water and watering. I think I got it all. I don't think other than back there there's some some more orange ones. I don't know if you could see them. And so let's head back and here's our view. There's cows across the way there. They're not out right now. That's when you hear the neighbor hollering, Hey cow! Hey cow! In the barn. And then over here... Come on Daisy, Lincoln. Up there's the upper barn. I don't know if you can... Right up there's the upper barn. Nope, wait a minute. And there's the quilt studio. See my cottage is up there, and below is the quilt studio. So, there's that. Um, anyway, like I said, she'll be back in a couple of weeks. Um, she did leave a few things for me. Hopefully her and Yvonne, that's her friend, um, are going to do a little video I can insert of her time up there in, in uh, Hawaii. And she supposedly brought some stuff some stitching so maybe she can show us her whips on that um we have a few finishes uh one is remember cheryl made this for me this is um the legacy of faith um and this is i did a whole history on our ancestors and we were um in the donner party uh that fateful uh journey took a wrong turn, decided to uh, try to keep going when probably shouldn't have. Um, 
we were the Graves uh, family in that journey. Uh, let's see, my one of my ancestors, Frank Graves, actually devised the snowshoe to try to track their way out of um, Donner Pass, which is over by Lake Tahoe. And um, I, I went there, I took my grandson and granddaughter and daughter up there for an ancestral little tour, and, and we saw where the graves were camped, which was nowhere near the lake, nowhere near anybody else. I don't know if they were outcasts or what. Their, their marker is over by a Safeway store, which is actually kind of nice because, um, yeah, uh, we survived by stamina and, I don't know, eating people. So Safeway is a good place, I suppose, so there's food near it. Everybody else is down by the lake, their campsite. Um, we're way up. Took a while for them to walk down to get their food, I guess. But anyway, Mary Graves, she was one of the first uh, teachers in Tulare County by the White River. Um, she taught, I think, 11 students, ages 6 to 15 there. And so she did, did get out of the... Um, the woods and survived that. So anyway, I appreciate that Cheryl did this for me. Um, I love it and I will put it with my Donner Pass uh, memorabilia. I could talk. Finishes, that's what we have. Uh, we have some, oh, Cheryl brought some whips down here. I mean finishes down here that actually I did for her, but, and they're not cross stitch. They're, um, uh, I think you can see that pretty good. This is thread crochet or lace crochet. She, I made her two of these to go on her couch arms. And this is a house with hearts. And then the other thing I made her, I made lots of people in my family are uh, these name doilies. Let me see if I can put this up there. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, look at the, that's going to be up there. Maybe that's better. So I make these two. And so I made this for her because that's her last name. And I think that's all the finishes. Now we can go into whips. Um, again, Sister Lee left me something, so I am assuming, hold on, she wanted me to show you this. She's uh, embroidering, embroidering, whatever it's called, um, this pattern, which is, hopefully, yeah. this is a bird, bird braid designs. And it's some snowmen. There, that's a little better, some snowmen. And this is what she has down, done so far. Well, she has, oops, don't, <laughs> don't rip the thread out. She won't like that. But anyway, oh, it goes like that. So she's got the, um, the little birdhouse done. And she's working on that. And then let's see what I have two whips. Um, besides all the quilts I'm working on, I have the the so she did uh, that I decided to do. And this is by Lori Holt of Be in My Bonnet, and published by It's So Emma of the Fat Quarter Shop. And I have got. Let's see. I did some of this. I did this over here and I'm working on the plug. I don't know if you can see that very well. but So we're coming along. I learned finally to, what's it called, the sewing method. I, I've watched many tutorials, it just never clicked. And then I watched, I think it was Cindy's, was it Cindy's? Let me look real quick. Cindy's cross stitch. And um, for some reason, her tutorial clicked, and now I just love it that I could sew on the top without that, it, you know, it in and out, up and down, whatever. The other whip I have is the Prairie Schooler, uh, Barnyard Christmas, and of course I'm doing the cow. I think he's there. <laughs> I hope he's there. Yes, she, he. It's not a bull, so it's a cow, so it's a she, and I've got a little bit more done on the cow and I think that's it for whips 
and finishes so we can do haul now. So one thing I got is for my son, who's been apparently watching his mother and auntie's, uh, oh, there we go, uh, floss tube for some reason, probably just because it's amusing to him. So he bought me a whole, or bought us a whole um, outfit, camera outfit, so we could video and take pictures and maybe do a little more professional job than we're doing now. This is a Canon EOS 50, M50, or 50M. So thank you, James. Mom appreciates that. He works at Microsoft. When he was younger, uh, he used to be always on the computer. This is before really you had the internet. He played Trade Wars or stuff, which is where he had to sign in, sign on, like, you know, that sound. And I would holler at him, get off the computer. You're not going to get a job just sitting on that damn computer all day. And then, of course, he got a job at Microsoft not too long after that statement. And so that's probably going to be my legacy. Um, what's he do there? I've asked him several times. He, I think he tests things for Microsoft products, something like that. I'm, I'm sure he'll he'll correct me. I ended up working at Microsoft too. I was in the criminal compliance department to um, catch the bad guys on the internet because there are bad guys on the internet. Uh, More Hall is, sorry I have to go down here. Um, I got some lace for that quilt as you go. You can't see that very good but I'm doing the quilt as you go block so I got the lace to work on that amongst the other quilts I'm working on. I got um, my punch needle and weaver's cloth. Oh, isn't that nice to see? Um, for my punch needling, that I, I have some Teresa Kovic patterns I showed in a couple videos ago um, that I want to do. I got my Farm Girl Vintage. From, this is by Lori Holt. I think it's also published by It's So Emma of the Fat Quarter Shop, so I pre-ordered that and got that. And she, my sister did a um, video of her pickles, canning her pickles or her freezing freezer pickles. So I decided she should take some of these and make an apron. And any more of her food videos, she should wear an apron. We'll see how, how that goes. I also bought a digital pattern from Lindy Stitches. Um, this one is a stitch for Sweet Freedom, which I think is super cool. So I, when I get my surgery in my eyeballs, I want to do that. Um, I got some more project bags. I got these, again, from um, Pretty Southern, Linda Joe, And I got the smaller one. I got, I got this one and um, a pumpkin one for my sister. I think it was pumpkins. And then this, I love this fabric. I love the Civil War reproduction fabric. So I got this one from her. And she told me with this one, this is the one she was using or was working on when her rotary cutter slipped and lopped, lopped off a piece of her finger. I've had that happen too. You, I don't know if you could tell on the difference, but this finger's, you know, kind of like what would you call that if formed differently now because of my doing that. And I think that's all. Oh, I also ordered some stuff from Dot Dot Goose. Uh, one's a surprise for sister uh, and the other one's for me. <laughs> so um, I'm anxious to get those as well. Uh, let me see. What else do we got? Um, watching um, Floss Tube nonstop because sister's not here and I could use the sewing method when I stitch, so and I don't really need to see the TV. I could watch it, although a few times I've put it on, my glasses on, so I could watch, and when I do that, I can't stitch. Pretty soon I'll be able to, to do that. I wanted to do some shout-outs. The first Thursday of the month, Acorns and Threads has um, a stitch, stitch gathering, and I guess this month, there was so many people that there almost wasn't any room. So um, they were suggesting people bring their own chairs. And I didn't get to go this time because uh, I just, I don't drive. 
and Sister Lee was busy getting ready to go to Hawaii, so um, she couldn't, I didn't want to bother her. Um, but I was thinking, we have this upper barn here, and if my sister would put in more lighting, because we have this huge table in there, that could be a good stitching table, and if it got over, the overflow they could send over here, um, I think we even have bats in there, so that would go with like a Halloween themed stitching gathering maybe, <laughs> but anyway, um, some of the, we have a lot of, I found we had a lot of uh, Pacific Northwest stitchers here. Uh, Michelle, um, a bandy stitches, she uh, became a designer and she's released some really cute um, patterns that I want to get and, ha and buy and have her sign them if um, I get to go to the next um, gathering. And of course, Linda Jo of Pretty Southern, the one who does, who I buy my project bags from. Um, there are some other, Daylene of So Grateful Fame, I, I just, she is so upbeat, I just enjoy watching her. Would have been great to meet her in person and I would like to do that. Uh, Kindred Stitches, Lisa, um, Kindred Stitches and Lori from Textilis, they're fun to watch and um, I'd like to meet them. Um, who else is there? Um, I said Lori. There is. See, I can't see. Audrey of Stitchy Witch 42 is hilarious. I love her. I would have loved to meet her. Um, two Martini Stitcher. She's she's up in Washington and she comes down to the uh, Acorns and Thread Gathering. So uh, and she's also fun to watch. Um, let me see. Audrey. Pretty Southern Textiles, Tim Martini Stitcher, Kendra Stitcher, Michelle of Mindy Stitches, Daylene. I think that's, uh, I'm sure there's more. I, I know Beth Twist is a designer, um, and she's out here in Oregon as well. Um, so, anyway, one of these days I'd like to get, I'd like to go to one of the stitches. I'm, I'm, I, I always thought I was loud and brash and type A personality, but I don't, the older I get, I guess I'm not. I Virtual, like I almost left my iPad at my niece and nephew's house in California, and that would have been awful, because all my friends are in there. <laughs> all my, my virtual friends are in there. Um, all right, let's go to the giveaway. I'm going to, let me show you what the member, if you remember, the giveaway was, how many times did I rub my nose in the first... Um, our first floss tube. This is floss tube number three. And so the giveaway is was this cute little box that sister picked up. Yeah, I think new season. And she has it filled with um, all kinds of little goodies and some even some readers, I think in honor of um, my eyes or lack thereof. And she has floss. And with the floss, so um, what it is, we're going to also give this pattern, which is called Patience, because I have none, so maybe somebody else can stitch this. And it's by Little House Needleworks. And also in this little box is all the called for DMC. So I will insert the video of the winner from the random picker here. Okay, so if the winner could just um, contact me uh, through, you can send me a message through my email and give me your name and address and I will send um, these cute little things out to you. And I don't think we're doing a giveaway for next week because sister's not here. Uh, in fact, I'm hopefully when my cousin comes up, she's going to be here for my eye surgery. I can mail this off. My, the 18th, because like, like I said, I don't drive, um, but she does, and so on the way to surgery, she can um, drop me off so I can mail that. Um, I think I said this is our third floss tube. I feel totally lost without my sister. I miss her. Um, so, everybody have a great week or two stitching. I'm not sure if we'll be back. I'll be back next week um, or... We, we were trying to figure out how we could do this together with her in Hawaii and me here, but...
couldn't figure it out even with all that supposed technology that I, technology that I know from Microsoft. I've been retired a few years, so anyway, love you all. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe and uh, like the video, and we'll see you later on. Bye. So I thought I'd take you through the studio real quick. When you walk in, to your left of the door is Sister Lee's um, kits and patterns that she has. And the coffee pot. And the daisy lounge chair. <laughs> oh, that light's probably not very good. Um, there is her station for the Bernina uh, embroidery machine. Over here is Sister Lee's area, and she has two machines. One's a just an embroidery machine, and one does both. And the thread. And over here, we're just getting ready for the floss tube that I have to do all by myself because Sister Lee's not here. Um, and my space is over here uh, by the long arm. Uh, so here's my space, there's my bear paw I'm working on, and then this is interesting. Uh, I have apparently have a problem staying on my side of things, and I am drying out some cherry magic fabric. Uh, notice this little tape. I think I'm supposed to be keeping my stuff on that side of the tape her stuff on the other side. Oh well. 